Hi, this is Murray from Second Time Tech, and today I'm going to be doing a couple of things to the ThinkPad T430 by Lenovo. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is a couple upgrades. And the first one I'm going to be doing is the uh, main drive that comes with this. Uh, I know some come with hard disk drives and some come with SSDs. But usually when you get an SSD, it's a smaller one. So this one came with a 128 gig SSD, and I'm going to be putting in a 256. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking out the DVD rewriter. And I got this adapter of Amazon, and the links will be in the show notes. That was around 10 bucks Canadian for it. And... Uh, what it allows you to do is to you put a SSD or a hard disk drive inside of this and then put that inside the computer and then it gives you two hard drives, an SSD and a hard drive, two SSDs, whatever you like type thing. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today. So the uh, first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take out the battery. And then that way there, you won't have any power applied there anywhere. So the next thing we're going to do is right here is where you get at the uh, main drive on the computer. So you just get yourself a uh, Phillips screwdriver, the uh, jeweler one, the larger jeweler one. And then found a little trick to this is you just pull it out a little bit here and then lift straight up and it comes out a lot easier. I was having a hard time last time with it. Oh yeah, and the other thing I had said, I had thought there was a battery in the front of this thing, but there isn't. It was the T430S or I that had the battery in the front. This one only has the one battery, which is back here. Just thought I'd let you know that. So then, like I said, so there it is right there. And right under here is the drive. So basically, I'm just going to grab a little jewelry screwdriver so I can pull this out here. And that's just a little piece of plastic to pull out the drive. And the drive that's in here, here is a 128 gig SSD, it's a Kingston one. So you have to pull these two little rubber things off the sides, and then there's four screws. You take those out. It's nice if you have a magnetic screwdriver. I think I fix it, make those things. Kind of expensive, but I bought a lot of my tools a long time ago, so. By the way, just keep track of where the um, where the connections are, because you want to put them in the same way. And so, we'll just take this one out and just pull straight out. We'll just set that up here out of the way. And then I will get my drive that I have, which is this one here. And it's a 256 gig drive for this one. So it's just one that I had laying around that I had used in my um, studio computer before. And it's a 256 and it's a good one because it's an, an MLC drive. And MLCs last longer than TLCs or QLTs. So I figured this one isn't even, it's just about a year old, that's about all. Like I said, they're not that easy to put together. Try to do it as fast as I can. And right there, the connection. Just in case you thought maybe I didn't look. I knew they were there. Been doing this stuff so long, it comes second nature to me. Well, you can probably tell by my white hair. But before those magnetic screwdrivers, 
what you did was you did this and you had a long fingernail and you held on to it and then you put it in. Learned that a long time ago too. That's why my fingernails are just a little bit long. I don't like keeping them too short because it helps me. So there's the drive. And don't forget to put the little rubber things on here to make it fit a little tighter and not bounce around. And then after you're done get that on there, then basically all you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to put it inside of here. And it's a little bit, a little bit tough to get her going at first because the, because the, um, uh, Little rubber things don't want to go in there sometimes. Just make sure you tuck that in as you're going. Otherwise, it won't work that well. And then just make sure you push it all the way up. There we go. So there, it's fine. And put this back on, just the opposite of what you did before. Just put that in a little bit like that. Play around with it a little bit. So it goes like that. And there you are. Done. Really simple. The first time I did it, I had such a hard time because I was trying to lift it up a different way. Tighten her down, and there you get your new drive inside there. So the second thing that we're going to do is right here is the DVD player. Very easy to do. What you do is there's a little lock thing on here. Just make sure it's in the unlock up here. Then take this and then just shove it out like that. And then there's the tray. And there's your DVD drive. Now with this one, what you need to do is you have to take out two little screws right here and i think what this is is it's a and let me see if i can do it closer to the camera here there's two little screws here and here and there's a little set screw on the inside and uh and then that helps put that make sure that goes in the right place so take those two little screws out I think this is either part of the lock or it's part of the thing that tells it it's in there. I'm not sure which. There. Sorry if you see my bald head. All right, so we'll just set that there. And then we'll put this over here. Now inside this is, there's four screws inside of here. And then there's the caddy, which is, which is this thing here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the four screws out right here and we'll set that down here. And as you can tell, these are the same shape. So it will fit in there. The only thing is whenever I got it, this was straight across over here like this. So because of the way that this machine's made, you have to take this little piece out so all i just used was an exacto knife it's just plastic and i scored it and i cut it off and seems it off and then it was fine so that's basically all i had to do to this one then what i did is i put this inside of here and then i put it Inside my laptop bag and then if I ever need to change it I just gotta pull it out put that back in and then I got my DVD drive so now because this is like this here and we need to put this back on it just to make sure see there's three little screw holes there and right here there's a little pin right there so if you take that little pin oops no, I didn't. I didn't have it upside down. I've put it in the wrong hole. So you put it in the center hole there, and that lines it up. And then you take your, your little screw, screw it in here. This same thing with this other little screw. Put it in there. Don't don't screw them too tight. Just enough to get them a little bit snug. There. Yeah. 
there. And then that little latch is on there. So the next thing that you do is you know, there's a little connector right down in here. So right down there. And then you just find the connector on this one, which is there, or whatever drive you're going to use if you're going to put a different drive than the one that was in there and there. And then you're just sliding it. You just push it down like that, or let it slide down like that, and then just make it push it forward. And it just goes straight in. You don't have to force it or anything. Just push it and she'll go in there. Then if you turn it upside down, there's four holes right there. And that's what these screws are for, the ones that come with it. And what you want to do is you want to hold the drive in place with your finger, with one with your hand, and then screw at least one of the screws in there to hold it up. And you can lay it down, and then you can put the rest of the screws in. And again, not real tight. Just, just snug and a tiny little bit more. That's all. It's just to hold it in place so that it doesn't bounce around and then come loose because there is enough room in there to be able to come loose. And just double check, make sure they're tight enough. And then all you have to do is that after you cut that little piece out, you take it and you have to turn it upside down because the machine's upside down. And then you just put it inside here. Where are you? That. And then once you get this far, then just push it in. There we are. And then it snapped to lock. And then that's in there. And then the thing won't come out. And there you go. And then that gives you your, now you've got two hard disk drives or SSDs inside your machine, depending on what you want to do. Put this back on. Now I already cloned the drive over and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm sure there's lots of videos that are going to teach you how to do that. So basically, where is it? When it's upside down, it's harder to see. So there's the drive. And we'll turn it on. And there we are. She's booting in the windows. So there we are. Uh, the two upgrades. It wasn't hard to do. It's uh, it's very easy to work on the machine. Um, like you can see, I I've, it's, it's booted back to Windows. It doesn't cost a lot to get that little uh, tray to, to put in there, or the caddy. Like I said, it's about 10 or $11 Canadian. So probably, it's only probably about six or seven, maybe $8 American for it. But like I said, I'll put that in the show notes so that uh, you'll know where it is. I got it off Amazon and I don't have affiliate links. So don't worry about that stuff. And uh, that's uh, pretty much what I had to show you for today. So I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. I want to wish everybody a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Bye.